G'day guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now I am going to rank world sports. I thought it would be funny to go through and just, just decide what is the best sport in the world. So I went into tier maker and typed in world sports uh, tier list. I didn't make my own. Now if I made my own, I probably would have put way more stuff into the actual tier list because there's only, I would say like, 10 to 15 sports here. So potentially if you want me to do another one and you wanna whack way more sports in, um, create the tier and DM me on Instagram and I'll definitely do it. I thought I would make the definitive best sports in the world ranked by C. McDonald. Let's get into it. All right, I'm gonna kick things off and say Lawn Bowls can only watch a minute of it. Well, I can't watch any minute of Lawn Bowls, but it is fun to play. So this is gonna to be tough. This is gonna be really tough. I'm gonna to say, I can only watch a minute of the lawn bowls. In terms of playing, it's so much fun. In terms of watching, uh, we're not tuning in on a Sunday Arvo to lawn bowls, are we? So I'm gonna say what I think is like the best sport overall to watch and play is how I'm going to attempt to, I don't know, justify my decisions. All right, what do we have next? Field hockey, uh, background game, maybe highlights. But we're not watching any highlights of field hockey. There's just no league in the world where we're excited to watch field hockey. Now, in the Olympics and the Commonwealth Games, when field hockey is on, it's, it's always a bit of a hoot, but it's just got no traction. Like there's no sort of, I don't know, there's no tribalism to any field hockey team. So I don't like how this person has done their tier categories because it's sort of annoying like could only watch a minute versus shouldn't exist I, I would say i could only watch a minute of of field hockey like it's considering it's only on my tv once every four years when the olympics is on i think yeah it's got to be down the order now what is this image is this surfing it looks like there's some rowing it looks like just water sports the water sports are fine surfing and kayaking and, and whatnot i think water sports are fine but i'm not going out of my way to watch water sports what's probably the most popular water sport that I would watch the most throughout the year. Potentially, probably swimming. There's always some championships on or the Commonwealth Games or the Olympics or, or something. So I'd say swimming is probably the most obvious water sport. But um, yeah, surfing's a great sport. But I'm just not tuning in to watch these sports, am I? UFC, I've fallen in love with over the last couple of years. Uh, obviously, they kept their league going through COVID. So I started tuning into a lot more UFC fights. I've always found mixed martial arts very appealing and intriguing. And um, I always followed, you know, Conor McGregor when he first came onto the scene because he just became a global phenomenon and it, it really boosted what UFC and MMA was, um, seeing a character like that compete. I've been interested in UFC for a fair while, but recently, like in the last 18 months, 24 months, I've sort of been tuning in to the sport most weekend, and I'm gonna put it in the top category. I think the consequences of a loss in mixed martial arts is crazy. So even if I'm watching two fighters I don't really care about, knowing, knowing that if you lose, you potentially lose your consciousness is, terrifying like i love footy and, and and basketball and soccer and all these other sports but if you lose you sort of walk off and you're you're bitterly disappointed but we go again next week if you lose a ufc bout you you're dead <laughs> your ba your brain damaged like you are hurt you don't just walk off you know head down and yeah you know, that, that was a bit rough like you're sore for weeks your body is bruised and battered and i think the consequences for the loss makes the sport like exhilarating. I'm gonna put UFC in like right up there in terms of my category. I might do a little bit of a reshuffle later on, but UFC is up there. Tennis, uh, I only really tune in once a year when it comes to Melbourne. And to be honest, in the last couple of weeks, when it's been on in Melbourne, I have not watched a second of it, but I like tennis. I like tennis as a sport. I think it's a great sport. Just the competitiveness of being by yourself out there in the court. Uh, there's no coach, there's no teammates, and you just gotta battle it out. Uh, it's your own will against the other person's will. As much as it's a non-contact sport, there's something so combative about tennis, which I find really appealing. So I'd put tennis, yeah, high up there. Boxing. Now you would think if I put MMA all the way at the top, I would probably put boxing as well. I love influencer boxing. I think watching influencers with big personalities who have a little bit of beef, thrash it out in a ring. It's really, really cool because it's like, you get the sport of boxing. Now I know it's not the highest degree. It's not a great showcase for the sport, but it's like, it is the sport of boxing and it's like personalities. 
I'd almost rather watch two blokes with massive followings, massive personalities, fight out some beef in a ring over like professional boxers who you can't even see their, like they're so slick and so skilled that you can't really appreciate their boxing because you can't really see it, like it, the way that they move. They're too good for their own good, if that makes sense. So I would say that boxing for mine is a bit, a bit of a background sport. I don't mind it, but I don't I don't love it. Rugby, I assume this is union. Um, rugby league, a bit stiff not to make the cut, but I guess they're cut from the same cloth. Uh, rugby union, I'm going to put in, can only watch a minute of it. I, I don't think I'm going to say a sport shouldn't exist. Uh, maybe badminton <laughs> coming up, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> yeah, that might be a shout, but yeah. Yeah, rugby union. It's there's just not enough teams, and the leagues aren't that good. Like the highest league in Australia gets about five thousand people to each game, and it, there's no appeal about it. Like I like when the Wallabies are on, or it's a World Cup, or it's us versus New Zealand. Like that's pretty cool. But that's something that like I would sort of scroll through Twitter and check some highlights out. Like I probably wouldn't sit down and watch the whole game unless it's like a huge event that everyone's tuning into. So unfortunately, yeah, rugby union, it just doesn't, for me, have that appeal about it. Golf, I would never watch a second of golf and I don't play golf, but I like the thought of playing golf. I think it's a, a fun game to sort of have a bit of a pitch and putt around the park. I'm gonna put golf in the middle. It's an interesting sport. Like out of all these sports, you know, there's a lot of uh, kicking and handballing and throwing involved and golf is absolutely not that. Bizarre sport really when we get down to the crux of it. I know Robin Williams has a very famous stand-up bit on how golf gets invented and how bizarre it is when you really think about it. But um, yeah, I'd put golf in the middle. I don't know what this is. Like, what is this? This is athletics, I assume this is. I'm gonna look like an idiot if this isn't athletics, but it's just a bunch of cartoons literally on a picture. So I'm gonna assume this is athletics. The 100 meter sprint is unbelievable theater, but it's only once every four years and it goes for nine seconds. So I'm gonna say athletics is, can only watch a minute because there's literally not enough of it. I respect a lot of those athletes who play a sport which is like only like the, the only result is like once every four years like the pinnacle of your sport is once every four years like you have to time your run for that perfectly i really respect that uh but it's i don't know i, I froth sports with a goal like a genuine set of goals, whether it's AFL posts or soccer or hockey, or I like there to be a goal involved. And when it's just sort of running, like it's impressive and it's unbelievable, but it doesn't draw me in as much. Um, gridiron, American football, I'm going to say, uh, tactically, it's one of the most complex games there is. Uh, and I love like Americans do their coverage of things really, really well. So American football, whenever it's on the TV, it's just so aesthetically pleasing. The graphics, the quality of the cameras, the cameras camera angles, they've got slow-mos for everything, they've got, it's just absurd how well Americans put together their coverage of sports, and that's probably what takes this sport to another level. I'm going to say it's in the middle for mine, very slow, very stop-start, uh, I don't really understand all the rules, I can appreciate the Super Bowl and, and, and how massive of an event it is, especially in pop culture, but the sport itself, yeah, it doesn't do a lot for me. Netball, netball I think's a fun game, and I personally love playing it, and I think it's, I think it's a, a, a great sport in terms of watching it I don't really get around to watching it I don't I don't dislike the sport some people watching might not know what netball is but it's sort of like basketball but not uh, I'm gonna put netball just down the bottom with all these other sports. I just, yeah, I don't really know what else to add to netball. It's um, it's fun to play. It's certainly fun to play, especially in PE as an Australian kid. But yeah, I don't really tune into many netball games. Baseball, baseball can go into only watch a minute. Like I don't really fully appreciate baseball. I love cricket. So it's sort of weird that I haven't backed in baseball as well. Similar sports, like sort of bat and ball sports that go for a long time and to people who don't like it, it's quite boring, but it's it's just not prominent in pop culture uh, in Australia. Like I heard a thing that in the early 2010s or something, baseball completely outruled anyone making content on baseball. So that's why like you don't really see YouTube videos pop up of baseball moments because the MLB would like demonetize them or take them down or, or sort of strike those channels. They were really strict on the ownership of their own content, which I think potentially is yeah, and I've heard Gary Vee talk about something similar like this, but potentially that's the reason why people who are sort of neutrals to baseball don't really hear much about it because it's not, you know, maybe it hasn't been allowed to 
to be in pop culture like i love the compilation videos about like basketball's best shots or yeah like sporting moments and, and you just never see ones about baseball pop up um badminton can go down the bottom it's it's a it's a poor man's tennis isn't it like it's you hit like have, if you've ever played it in PA, you hit that thing, you hit that shuttlecock so hard and it goes so softly. Like it's just annoying. You don't get bang for buck. You don't get money for jam. Um, and it's like volleyball, but with a little cone shaped feather thing. So yeah, ba badminton. Sorry, but you're, you're right down the bottom champion. Uh, volleyball, I won a volleyball premiership when I was 18. Uh, I might've been 17 actually at the <laughs> Div 2 or 3 Geelong Indoor rebound sand competition. It's a fun game. It doesn't really tickle my pickle that much. I don't think I'm gonna say it shouldn't exist. I'm probably gonna put it in this category, which seems like the fence sitting category. Uh, my One of my best mates, Liam Van Gempst, is a volleyball prodigy and superstar. Um, played in the highest league in Victoria since he was about 10 years old. Um, he can slap that thing around as much as anyone. He won a premiership last year and it was on the other side of Melbourne. It was in like Frankston where they played the game or Dandenong or something. So we, we bought the live stream and tuned in to whip him home and we just sunk cans while getting around the big Liam Van Gemps. They won, they got up, they won the flag and he got the Norm Smith. So that man is a gun. Um, and I, it's probably too disrespectful for me to say that his sport shouldn't exist, but uh, yeah, golly gosh, we're not tuning into many volleyball games unless the great man is involved in it. All right, now we're down to probably my favorite sports in the whole wide world. I have recently fallen in love with ice hockey. I'm gonna say it's one of my favorite sports at the minute. I'm a big New Jersey Devils fan because of Jack Hughes, uh, who's a bit of an up and coming gun, who's making a, a splash in the league this season. I'm gonna say ice hockey's right up there. I've been enjoying it. Ice hockey reminds me of soccer and AFL combined. So there's the physicality of footy where it's a contact sport in a 360 degree field of play. So obviously rugby union is a contact sport, but they're only coming from one direction. In ice hockey and AFL, you can come from any direction to put on physical contact, which I really enjoy. And then I enjoy that there's a goal at the other end, like soccer. So I'm going to say that ice hockey Right now, it's one of my favorite loves. Speaking of soccer or football, depending where you're from, I'm gonna put soccer right up there. Very good sport, very, very good sport. A little bit boring at times, like I've stayed up a couple of times to tune into an epic EPL game, middle of the night, and it ends nil all, and you just go, what the fuck have I done with my 3 a.m. to 4.30 a.m.? Like, what am I doing? Uh, so that that's sometimes you can leave empty-handed with that sport. But when it's at its best and it's an absolute goal fest, it's as exciting as it gets. I'm pretty sure the World Cup final, people walked away and were like, what an unbelievable contest. Like there was goals galore, swings in momentum. So soccer slash football is a very good sport. There's a reason it's the world sport. Um, very easy to understand, very easy to play. And yeah, it, it's, it's a good sport. Cricket, I'm, I'm, even though it's one of my favorite sports, I, I feel like I'm gonna be a bit of a goose if, it, if it's in best sports ever. Is cricket best sports ever? Probably not. I'm gonna put it second to the pack. It's a very niche sport. It's, it's a sport where if you get it, you get it. I love it. I love probably the test version of it more than any other version of cricket. And yeah, I think it would be a little bit crazy to put it in best sports ever, but it's one of my favorites. All right, down to the last two. AFL football absolutely is in best sports ever. I think if anyone who is watching this who potentially has never heard of AFL or never watched it and is absolutely shocked by that decision, I just wish they got it. Like I, I wish we could show it to other countries and have them sort of take the hour to digest the sport. 360 degree contact. You can go end to end in like the space of 20 seconds. You can kick, you can handball. There's big pack marks or catches where there's 10 blokes all going for the same ball. There's skill involved, there's endurance involved, there's pace involved. It's an unbelievable sport. It is an electrifying sport. So oh, if, if people in England and people in America and people around the world understood the game of AFL. I feel like it would be the best sport in the world. It's just no one can understand it or take the time to get to know it. So underrated. It's one of the most underrated sports in the world. It is it is so good. All right, now we've got basketball. I've never been a massive basketball fan. Recently, I've started playing some social basketball and your boy 
has got some moves. Now I am um, horrific at the sport of basketball and it's a frustrating sport to me because when someone has the ball and they're sort of dribbling up the court, I can't get it off them without giving away a foul because I, I just don't know what I'm doing. So I sort of charge in and bump them or run into them. And not in a way where it's like very physical like footy. I don't even think I've got the physique to physically uh, bump someone off the ball, but I'll sort of charge in a, a little bit fumbly and I give the foul away and then I get annoyed that I haven't, like I've got no idea how to get the ball off them. And then they get annoyed that I'm just running into them. So I'm just an absolute danger to society on the basketball court. I'm such a liability for my team. Um, and, but I do enjoy it. But I'm going to say it's in the middle tier for mine. It's once again, NFL and NBA have that that coverage that is awesome. Like their television, the graphics, the camera work. When you tune in, it is unbelievable. And it has the superstars to follow as well. Like talk about superstars and pop culture. I think basketball is probably the most popular in terms of yeah their characters in the game but for mine 82 games a year it's sort of like when you get it when you score you get a chance to score like it's just sort of bit of our turn your turn yeah not my favorite sport in the world all right let's see if i do a little bit of a reshuffle before we call it a day i'm gonna put ice hockey above tennis and so I'll put soccer above tennis. All right, that is my list. That is my tier maker of my favorite sports or my opinion on the best sports in the world. AFL, unbelievable sport. UFC is, that is Roman gladiators going at it every week. And then, yeah, the rest to follow. Uh, let me know down below if you agree with my tier list. Let me know down below if I got any wrong. I would love to see some of the comments. Yeah, I really appreciate the support. I appreciate everyone tuning in. And I'll see you all for some more content very, very soon. Cheers, guys.